because and just uh, just so that folks know both of you go by your initials you're known as jjr you're dlp and now let's have some fun all right <laughs> gentlemen i just i want to start because i want to just go right to your commercials you each are running a heavy all the voters have seen these commercials i want to play let's play first the the uh, the ad you are running against him let's play the let's play the portilla commercial now <laughs> Shady politics and dark money. An insurance tycoon is bankrolling a campaign to elect Jose As a lobbyist for rich for profit corporations, he's delivered millions in public school funds to his clients. After Donald Trump promised to bring his Miss Universe show to town, Diaz de la Portilla delivered our tax dollars to help Trump. After taking thousands from big insurance, he delivered again, raising property insurance rates. All right. Now, I want to start there, then we're going to go to the other one. You stand by that commercial. I do, I do. Listen, uh, first of all, thanks for bringing us sure. on so we could uh, put truth out there. Uh, you know, I think voters deserve to know uh, the, the facts. And, you know, the, the RAD uh, cites uh, several things that are extremely important. We have a conflict of interest problem, and it has a direct impact uh, on the voters and on my constituents. Uh, when my opponent uh, lobbies for the for profit charter school industry uh, and has a horrendous voting record on public education that has a direct impact on us uh, when his former clients include for example fpnl um, and is silent in favor of consumers and does not vote with consumers or the environment when it comes to the issues that were critical issues we're dealing with at turkey point that has a direct impact on us so it's not simply name calling it's actually right, talking want, about voting bring, records tied all to right. his conflict of interest all right address that commercial well you know that commercial is a ridiculous commercial uh, first of all i have absolutely no connection to donald trump what he's referring to in that ridiculous commercial is that in 1997 commissioner then commissioner or Gwen Margolis sponsored an item to bring the Miss Universe pageant to Miami Beach. It was also supported by former Democratic Party chairman Jimmy Morales, who was a county commissioner at the time. There's absolutely no connection between Miguel Diaz de la Portilla and the Trump campaign. Regarding lobbying, I'm an attorney. I'm actually a practicing attorney. I've practiced law in my community in Miami-Dade County for 29 years. I've handled two zoning applications for a charter school, but that doesn't affect the way I vote in Tallahassee, and it never has. I'm the guy who killed the charter school's number one bill in Tallahassee, which was the parent trigger bill. That died in the Senate because I killed it with my vote. So right. one thing has nothing to do with the other. By the way, Rodriguez, Rodriguez here has voted for money for charter schools. So, you know, it's just a ridiculous attack. And I have the support of the United Teachers of Dade. They wouldn't be supporting me if I weren't good for public education. Right, he tried to get me, that endorsement. Me, he couldn't get it. Let me, now let me go to the other one. Now, this is the commercial you're running against him. So let's play the Rodriguez commercial now. Shady politics and dark money. An insurance tycoon is bankrolling a campaign to elect Jose Javier Rodriguez. Big insurance and big money means Rodriguez owes big favors. Pay to play Jose already took over $2 million in dark money from lobbyists and big insurance. And he let our insurance rates go up 15%. Rodriguez gets elected, the big money donor gets influence, and we get the bill. All right, where did you come up with the $2 million figure? Well, when you take a look at all the dark money that's gone what into... What is dark? First off, define dark money. Term. Okay. Dark, dark money is money that goes into C4 corporations, and these entities do not have to report contributors nor expenditures. And then what, what has happened in the Rodriguez campaign is that a particular insurance tycoon by the name of Chris Feinlater has put money into a C4 and then laundered it through uh, another entity, a PAC, to fund Rodriguez's campaign. Is this, are, you Rodriguez's suggesting campaign? There's anything, are you suggesting there's anything illegal with that? No, it's 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 legal, but it's you know it, it's hypocritical of Rodriguez to claim uh, that he's Mr. Clean when he has all this dark money, insurance, dark money financing his smear campaign against me. And I'm a public servant who has been around this community, practiced law in this community for fit, for for 30 years, almost been around this community my entire life, and and I'm a person who has a solid track record. Rodriguez is using dirty, dark money to finance his campaign. All right. And it comes from insurance interests and lobbyists. All right. I want you to address it. Well, I, I appreciate, once again, the ability to, to, to respond to this. All of the attacks that have been lobbed at me are smoke screens. Uh, they're trying to fool voters uh, and, and put up a smoke screen so that he can hide behind his own record. Uh, I'll point out a couple things. One, I have uh, a, a perfect record fighting for consumers in Tallahassee against insurance, including getting a bill passed this year uh, against property insurers to protect uh, uh, 
my neighbors and homeowners. And I think I would point out a couple things about that ad, two things. One, again, it's not cited. We don't know what he's talking about. And when it comes, and again, what's behind the smokescreen? Uh, Senate Bill 408 is something that Portillo voted for. Uh, he's the only Republican in Miami-Dade who did so. Flores and Garcia did and what, not what join was him. that bill? 408, uh, the press, uh, some Sentinel specifically, predicted before the vote that this bill would have the effect of increasing insurance rates. It did. One has to ask, why is it that he's attacking so hard on the insurance issue? It's right. to hide his own I wanna, record. I want to I wanna, I wanna ask no you both on that. that. Wait, one second, because I just want to frame it this way. Your commercial accuses him of raising property insurance rates by 15%. His commercial accuses you of, no, it, uh, of, it, it of does saying not. that you allowed it to go through it of does 15%. Not. So that's the other point. It says allowed it to go through. I have a record of fighting uh, for consumers he, consistently. His ad does has, not accuse me. He has a me. record of it going says, let it go all. through. He's, 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 let it, it says passed, let it go through, which means the Republican majority years, passed He's the most it. ineffective legislator he, that we have it, in Tallahassee. Now he wants a and he's being financed by Chris Feinlander, who's an insurance if, if, if you, That's you, a fact. It may be an inconvenient fact, an inconvenient truth for you, Rodriguez, but it is what but, it is. All right, let's, but I don't, because when you talk over each other, nobody gets to hear. So I just want to ask you directly, the bill that he cited that says that eventually allowed insurance rates to go up 15%, did you, in fact, vote for that bill? That bill was a consumer protection bill, Jim. That bill had nothing to do with raising anybody's rates. And, in fact, rates are set by the Office of Insurance Regulation. So that's another real stretch and lie here by so Mr. Then, Rodriguez. So let me tell you what the let bill me, did. Let me, let, me just ask you let me just ask you this. It also if, insurance rates, wait, wait, if insurance rates are established by the insurance commissioner, then why does your ad attack him for raising insurance no, rates? No, because, because here's the thing. There are a lot of cost drivers for insurance. One of them is fraud. One of them is... Is fraudulent claims being filed, a lot of them here in South Florida, unfortunately. One of the issues that we have here are a, a, a tremendous increase, a thousand percent increase in non-hurricane related water damage claims. That kind of fraud jacks up the rates. What I tried to do this last session is I sponsored a bill, got it through four committees, was ready to bring it on the floor, it failed in the House, that would have stopped the fraud. He's done absolutely nothing right. about insurance. Right, He's want, actually done absolutely nothing about anything. I want to bring you a chance to respond, then I want to move on to another topic. So do you ever for that yeah, quickly. absolutely. Once again, just listen to the ad. It says uh, that I failed to stop. We can't stop everything because it's a Republican majority. But again, I did get a bill passed working with a Republican colleague uh, to that protect wasn't his homeowners. Bill. Yes, it is. That, it was 931. Well, let me, let me look it up online. That's somebody wait, else's bill. Wait, 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 He's wait, trying to take credit for somebody else's That's work, which is as dishonest as it gets. Wait, gentlemen, gentlemen. You raised what's absolutely false. Wait, gentlemen, 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 one of the arguments that he makes in his in support of his candidacy is the Republicans will continue to control the state Senate moving forward. It is not going to flip to Democratic hands. Therefore, he will be in a better position to represent South Florida because with his seniority, he'll be able to be in leadership positions in the state Senate, whereas you will not be able to get much done in the Senate as a Democrat in a Republican chamber. Uh, absolutely disagree for two reasons. Sure. Number one uh, is that if you look at his voting record, he has not been representing the community well. Again, we'll probably talk about the gun issues. He has a solid voting record in favor of the NRA and gun lobby until the very last minute when he has to vote face voters for the first time okay. in, in six years. And the second point that I'll make is who is he representing? He continues to deny to the voters that he's a lobbyist. All right, let's not use it's, props. It's, let's, it's, it's a public record. Let's not use props. Okay, okay. You know, I, I, have some, I have some props, too, and let me tell you the prop that I have. Rodriguez has passed one bill in four years. He hasn't put a penny in the budget for any institution or any project that is important in our community. The guy who killed the bad gun bills in Tallahassee in 2015 and in 2016, Campus Carry, is, is the person you're looking at on the screen. They sailed right past Rodriguez. He couldn't do anything about it. He didn't get anything done. He's one of the most feckless and ineffective states legislators we have All right, one bill in four years and then he tries to steal credit for somebody else's calling. work the reality is that he files these one-page co-sponsorship okay. forms and then tries to steal credit right. for other <laughs> legislators. Yeah, that's yeah, just wrong right. All right. so he raised the gun bill he said that he stopped the on-campus bill you're saying that that's an aberration but yet he does have the support of Bloomberg's group which is the anti-gun group 
Sure. Well, listen. Uh, once again, uh, if you look at the Miami, Her if you look at the Miami Herald's endorsement of me, uh, they call him out on exactly this point. Again, the Miami Herald endorsed me uh, for my hard work, uh, and yes, I have co-sponsored many bills. Many times, Republicans uh, come to me for consumer measures, and I work with them. Uh, sometimes I ask them, and we work together. That's how you get things done in Tallahassee. And on the gun bills, uh, again, the Miami Herald called him out and said that other than this, he's had a consistent record for the NRA and for the gun lobby. Go read their endorsement of me and you'll see it right there. Do we have to wait another six years? If he's elected, do we have to wait another six years for him to do what, honestly, no one in this community thinks we should have guns Miguel, in dormitories? Miguel, okay, let, let, me, let me just quickly, that, let, let me just quickly say what people should read is community newspapers endorsement of me. They should ask themselves, why, is the, why are the United Teachers of Dade supporting me?